Hi guys, I'm Lina and welcome to my All Analog Photography channel. Today we will be looking into something absolutely special, the Adox Scala Reversal Kit. It's not a new process. In fact, for years it has been the only commercially available quality controlled system for professional labs called Agfa Scala. Customers had to buy the special Agfa Scala film, shoot it as normal and drop off at a dedicated lab, getting back beautiful framed black and white slides. Agfa was the only company dedicating significant research and marketing efforts to making this process popular. But it's not about marketing only. The Scala films have a transparent base, elevated silver content and are otherwise tailored exactly to reversal. Adox is known for saving and reviving Agfa's heritage. The transparent base silver rich Scala films were already present in the portfolio of the company but Scala labs were becoming increasingly rare and all the existing at-home reversal kits had shipping restrictions because of um, the dangerous hazardous contents and were not and still are not easily available worldwide. I appeared in Adox's life about two and a half years ago and this is exactly when they had the first working Scala samples. So I did try playing with reversal before, but honestly, I had other people always helping me because it was so scary and so confusing. And I still remember this feeling. This is why we started immediately pushing to making the Scala process as simple as possible. And now I guarantee there is nothing more amateur friendly than the Scala kit on the market. We are getting to the product, but first let's take a moment for this box. Our graphics designer did a fantastic job at creating a unified recognizable look for the entire Scala range. And by the way, those pictures on the sides are my first independent attempt at slide processing. Seriously, the first one, and it turned out so good. I just randomly for an experiment took portraits of my friend who is by the way a professional ballet photographer in front of a white wall with natural light. I was so crazy stressed when processing this film but then when I pulled those positives right out of my tank I got completely and irreversibly hooked on the process. Since then I processed so many slides you have no idea. I kind of don't necessarily like shooting 35 millimeter but exactly in reversal it makes a lot of sense. Those tiny already framed images look like jewels. They are so beautiful. There is something magical about them and seeing them for the first time is a completely, absolutely different experience from pulling out negatives from the tank. Okay, now finally to the contents. It all could not be easier. Developer, bleach bath, both are diluted, one plus one, and the first developer is also used as the second developer. Clear bath is diluted in two liters. So of everything, you get two liters of working solutions, and depending on your tank, you can process six to eight rolls of film in those. Any possible questions that you have are all addressed in this wonderful little booklet. It's small but extremely informative. We rewrote it like 10 times at least, 15 times, because every time we wanted to make it more and more informative for absolute beginners. So you read it, please read it. And then you will know what you are doing. But so that you know even a little bit better what you're doing, I'm gonna take this roll of film that I shot in the beautiful city of Florence to my darkroom. I'll start processing it and explain you how the reversal process works, because it's a little bit of magic to me still. All the objects around us reflect light, some more and some 
less. This reflected light arrives to the surface of the film during the time of exposure, where silver halide crystals are sensitized and all waiting for this light, because they need a certain minimum amount to become developable. So, for example, a black matte wall reflects almost no light. So, this area corresponding to the black wall on the negative will not receive any light and the silver halides are gonna remain exactly like they were. A white vase in front of that wall, let's say, is well illuminated and reflects a lot of light. That means that all the silver halide crystals in the shape of the vase will become developable because they got sufficient exposure. So, what a developer does, it converts silver halides which have been exposed to metallic silver. And the fixer, what it does, it does not work on metallic silver, but it removes the unexposed silver halides, which means the ones that are still light sensitive. So, nothing light sensitive is on our film and this is why we can take it out of the tank and we will not ruin it anymore. So, when you print, you put your negative under a very even light that is identical from one side to the other, but your negative is not. So, when you're hitting it with light for the same amount of time, the light passes faster through the lighter parts and passes slower through the darker parts. So, it all becomes the opposite. The white parts they hit the paper more and this part becomes darker on the paper and vice versa for the dark parts. So, this is why if, for example, you burn a negative and uh, this area receives a lot of light, it all converts to very solid metallic silver that lets nothing through and you can shine the light all you want on the paper, you will get just a pure white spot. So, that's how it's happening. So, in the scala process, it's almost like printing immediately. The magical step called the bleach bath targets, unlike fixer, the metallic silver. So, it dissolves all the metallic silver in the emulsion and what remains, you guessed it right, is the unexposed silver halides. And they remain perfectly proportional to the negative image. So, when we expose them to light again, all of them, all the remaining ones, become developable. And then we just develop them again, et voila, we have an absolutely perfect opposite of our negative. Now, to conclude this video, I will answer the three most popular questions. First one, can you reverse other films and not just ad hoc scala? Yes, of course, absolutely any black and white film can become a slide film. However, if the film is on a grayish base, and most films are on a grayish base, then the effect of your slides will not be as stunning, because you will not have pure whites, you will not have very pure highlights. If you want to simply scan those slides, it's okay, because you can adjust your scanner to count this gray as white. But if you want to project your slides or you want to display them as art objects, it's just not going to have the same wow effect. Second, uh, if the silver content is not that high, then you'll get maybe a bit flattish results. And um, the emulsion has to be of good quality and with good hardeners, otherwise it will simply slide off your film destroyed by the bleach bath. And it happened to me once. Second question, can you reverse paper? Yes, absolutely, you can reverse paper, because silver highlights are silver highlights everywhere. And I did a little experiment, I saved the chemistry that I already used for two rolls of film, so I took this chemistry and printed from my slides uh, positives on the paper. So, I had reversal film and I reversed the paper. The developer 
was lasting like forever. It did not die. But the bleach bath started dying after four 18 by 20 prints. So maybe if you print some really small ones, it will last a little longer. But again, I did not do really consistent tests in order to confidently tell you guys how it should work. It's probably a topic for a different video, but I have to tell you, it works. And third question, can I use the diluted chemistry for more than one film, turning this kit instead of six films to 12 films, or eight to 16? So the answer is, I don't know, but I don't exclude this. So at Adox, there were no official tests doing this. I have not done any proper tests, but seeing how this developer performs on paper, I would really not exclude that it can work, maybe with not even extended times. However, you have to account for the bleach bath that dies much faster. So maybe you could extend the bleach times and maybe add a minute to developer, a couple of minutes to bleach, and just let me know how it works out for you. So I hope this video was fun and informative. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, and see you in the next video. Bye! Understand what is happening to this little, little creature, little thing. Oh, it's so cute and small. Oh, 35 millimeter. Ooh. Italians fighting. I love Italian language. It's so beautiful. But only when they don't scream under the door of my lab. Dang, I overexposed. On the Yeah, but not too much. Okay, here I exposed. Whoa. They are so pretty. And the best things in life are analog.